Are we getting Rashad Bateman or not? Because it's like, first, Ravens giving to us. All right, Bate, good to go. Then they take him away. He's on the reserve list. Then they're like, oh, no, 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 no. They, he's active off the reserve list. And we like, yes. And now he's on the physically unable to perform list. And we're like, oh. Just not even 24 hours ago, because it was about 22, 23 hours ago from when you seeing this, just a day ago, we were posting that we got great news on Rashad Bateman. That he had been activated off the reserve list and we were like, all right, let's get it. Even though, like we said in that video, we did not expect him to just throw Rashad Bateman out there. We didn't expect him to be full go uh, for training camp just yet because we expected them to take it easy uh, with Rashad Bateman. But the Ravens are like, no, 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 no. We are going to up that. We're going to top that because we're going to place him on the physically unable to perform list. Now. I know it's, it's been a roller coaster because it's been up, down, up, down, up, down, up. It, it, it's just been back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with Rashad Bateman. But I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. I would much rather, like we've been saying, I would much rather the Ravens go on the side of caution rather than I, Rashad Bateman, get out there. I, Rashad Bateman, show us what you got. I, Rashad Bateman, you, you still hurt? Oh, no, no, you should be able to play through it. No, 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 no. We, let's not do that. Because we've seen the effects of rushing somebody back before. Um, but Rashad Bateman, oh, this is just, again, as fans, we, we just fans. We not suiting up. We ain't putting the pads on. We ain't throwing the football, catching the football. We ain't out there on the field. And this is a little bit frustrating for us, but then you got to imagine being in Rashad Bateman's shoes. Put yourself in his shoes. I know fans will say this and fans will say that, but try to put yourself in the player's shoes because it's got to be extra frustrating for the player. Because with the player, you being hurt, you having to go through the injuries, it's like, man, this is rough. This, this is throwing me off. It's taking me out of my game. And especially as somebody who, prior to the NFL, had never really dealt with injury before. This is like new to him. So this, this, this is a, a brand new territory for Rashad Bateman. So... We'll see uh, how this thing goes, but this will be an opportunity for quite a few people. Now, um, we did hear that report from James Jones where he was on, uh, was it ESPN or Speak? I forgot what, which, which station it was, which show it was, where he was talking about Zay Flowers was looking like the best wide receiver in camp, and that includes Odell Beckham Jr. And I know a lot of people took that and ran with it and got really hyped with it. I ain't mad at anybody getting hyped over it. I'm great. It's great to hear great reports about any Ravens players, especially when it comes to wide receiver. But Rashad Bateman wasn't really participating in the OTAs and the minicamp and all that. Odell Beckham Jr. wasn't really participating in the minicamp and OTAs and all that. So for Zay Flowers to be considered the best wide receiver out there, including OBJ, including everybody, I mean, I mean, he did still have some competition because there's still Nelson Aguilar, there's still James Prochet, there's still Devin Duvernay, there's still Tylen Wallace, there's still... um. Oh, from Maryland. Dante Demas Jr. There's still Shamar Bridge. So there's still some guys out there too. So shout out to Zay Flowers. Um, but the Ravens, they're not full go yet. Uh, but it was nice to hear that report on Zay. But speaking of him, this isn't a big opportunity for him. It's a huge opportunity for him. Uh, because every rep that Rashad Bateman is not out there getting, Zay Flowers will be like, oh, I'll gladly take it. Because it, it it bumps him up on the depth chart that much higher. Every every single day, Rashad Bateman is not there. Zay Flowers is getting more opportunities, more passes thrown his way, more plays that he could possibly make in training camp. He gets to go up against even better competition. And I'm sure they'll be rotating them. Even if Rashad Bateman was out there, they'd be rotating him and Zay and Odell Beckham Jr. and Zay Flowers and whatnot. He would be getting his opportunities. I mean, he's a first-round pick, so they got high hopes for him. But with Rashad Bateman completely out, he'll get even more. Uh, Odell Beckham Jr., I mean, he's going to get plenty of opportunity regardless. So this doesn't really hurt or help Odell Beckham Jr. at all, in my opinion. Um, but because he's their big free, ag free agent acquisition. That's their big ticket free agent because they, they spent that bread on Odell Beckham Jr. Um, so this doesn't really change anything with him, in my opinion. But Nelson Aguilar, um, I feel like, and, and things could change. Things could change from now until the beginning of the season, but I feel like his role is pretty much set. Like as that sort of third, fourth wide receiver, 
Uh, I feel like he'll be a, a role wide receiver, role playing wide receiver because he ain't gonna be out there all the time, but he'll be out there a significant amount of time. Go out there, make a couple plays, stretch the field, open things up, then come back to the bench, come back to the sideline. Uh, so I th- I think that he will his his role doesn't really get affected by this in my opinion. I could be wrong though, but guys like Devin Duvernay, James Prochet, and, and any of the receivers too, Tyler and Wallace. It, it, this is where they have to take advantage. Because Ravens got some bubble receivers, man. In my opinion, I think James Prochet is definitely a bubble receiver right now. I do not think he is a lock to make the roster at all. Um, I didn't think he was a lock, lock to make the roster last year, but he made it, to my surprise. But this year, like, you've been, you've been with the Ravens for a couple of years. This offseason alone, they drafted Zay Flash, so they drafted a receiver. And they signed two uh, free agent. No, Laquan Trewell, too. So they signed four. Receivers Well Yeah Cause they signed uh, Odell Beckham Jr They signed Nelson Aguilar They signed Laquan Treadwell They signed Dante Demas Jr And they signed other people too um, But as far as veterans Alright They signed three veterans So your spot Is not safe By any means Especially How last year Ended for James Prochet So While Rashad Bateman Is out You know like Again It's a business and everybody under you, everybody that's behind you on a depth chart, they're looking at you and they wanting to take your spot because they're lower than you on a totem pole. And that's just the way that the game goes. So hopefully Rashad Bateman can get back out there soon, not in a rushing way, but hopefully he can get back out there soon because this team is obviously better with Rashad Bateman than without. And we, a lot of us are excited for Rashad Bateman this season just to watch him put it all together. Watch him put it all together. Watch him play through the entire season. Watch really all the Ravens play through the entire season because that's the thing that we're looking forward to the most. Uh, so a report like this, the Ravens put Rashad Bateman on the pup list. I ain't got no problem with it at all because i much rather this precautionary report than a lot of other ones that we more used to getting. Especially around this time of the year. Because the report's been flying, unfortunately. They, they've been flying. Naeem Hines from the Bills. They said he's probably going to be out for the year. Uh, C.J. Gardner, Johnson from the, uh, the Lions, the safety. They, they said he went down with a non-contact injury, but they said he's straight. They said he's good to go. Uh, so that's a good thing. And there was somebody else, too. Then, of course, the reports of people getting suspended for gambling and all that. So, I don't so even mess with none of that gambling stuff in the first place. I mean, I, if I did it, I wouldn't get, get suspended, but I, I can't mess with gambling. It's not with my conscience. It just it, it don't sit well, man. So, but, I mean, if I, the whole NFL thing, I just I, I don't get it. It's just, it's just a big mess to me. It's a huge mess. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, but the Ravens. It seemed like gambling don't sit well on their conscience either because they said with Rashad Bateman, we ain't about to gamble this thing. We ain't about to gamble his health. We ain't about to risk it. And, again, zero problems with it. Zero problems with it. Um, I would much rather Ravens play it safe. Play it safe than end up being sorry in the long run. So this is a big season for them. I mean, every season is a big season for them, but this is a big season to really for the Baltimore Ravens to show like, hey, we learned our lesson. We learned our lesson with injuries. We learned our lesson with rushing people back. We learned our lesson with bringing people back before they completely ready. We learned our lesson. So it's, it's important that the Baltimore Ravens, they show that they learned it. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for continuing to watch the videos. And again, stuff is it's ramping up, man. It's ramping up. Stuff is crazier than ever. It's getting busier than ever. And Ravens haven't even taken the field for training camp yet. So subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on because you will get plenty of notifications. I promise you. I can guarantee that. I can guarantee that. I know Lamar Jackson, he apparently allegedly wanted a fully guaranteed deal. And Ravens say, oh, we can't give you that. But I can fully guarantee you that this coming season will be crazy. And it will be a lot. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. But it is going to be a lot. So, so you do not miss not one single thing, not one single update, not one single video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video because that'll let YouTube know like, hey, we're a little crazy because we actually will watch Team Keep It Clean. We'll actually be there watching the videos. That'll give YouTube that, that recommendation like, oh, you, you like watching this stuff? Oh, yeah, something's wrong with you, but we'll, we'll keep sending the videos your way. So 
appreciate y'all, man. I love y'all so much. And just like Rashad Bateman is temporarily, because again, with the pup list, you have uh, you can come off the pup list at any time. All you got to do is pass the physical. That's it. So right now, J.K. Dobbins on there. Rashad Bateman's on there. Tyus Bowser. No, Tyus Bowser's. He's on the um. He's on a different list, a different injury list. But I think Pat Ricard. Pat Ricard is on there too. Pepe Williams is on there as well. Uh, and I know I'm missing somebody. Oh, Rashad Nichols is on there. And there's somebody else too. But I can't think of them off the top of my head right now. But y'all remember better than me. But love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Again, so you stay updated. Subscribe and turn your notifications on. We out. Just like Rashad Bateman is. For now. <laughs>